walking on the quarterback of the Carolina Panthers. Somebody can. There he is. Yes, sir. How are you? Good to see you, Cameron. How are you? How you doing? Good to doing see you. Good. You, you must steer here for Under Armour. Are those the kicks? They, they are. Okay. They are. They are the. Uh, can't tell. Yeah, they are the Speedform Gemini running shoe. Yes, sir. Okay, we'll talk about that in a moment. You must have fond memories of that stadium across the way, right? Yeah, that was back in, in, in my collegiate days. Not, right. not professionally, though. I'm, I'm, I'm over there. You're, you're over in, the, in that building, Ofer. professionally? Yes, sir. But you, but you beat Chip Kelly in that building, right? Yes, yes. But uh, along with this society and sports, it's what have you done for me lately. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, I better, better get, get to going and having to go a more successful outing. Well, what you have That's done for Carolina lately is get him to the divisional playoff round in back-to-back -back years. And you're, yeah. you're sort of wincing. I will describe that for the radio audience. That's not enough for you. That's no, not. It's not. You know. That's. You know. I don't. I don't. I don't play this game to uh, go to the divisional round every year. You know. But um, you know, you play to be busy. You know, during this week. But uh, you know, everything. You know, it takes time. You know, it's the whole cliche thing is Rome wasn't built in one day. Uh, I understand that and I respect that. And uh, when you finally do get to the goal that you want to achieve. Right. It makes it even much better. All right. Cam Newton is here uh, on the Rich Eisen Show. So uh, tell me about what it was like to compete against the eventual NFC champion Seattle Seahawks. What was that like for you in the divisional round up there? Oh, it was it was so much that we that we uh, were facing, you know, um, <clears throat> not only arguably one of the best, you know, defenses to ever be, you know, put together, in my opinion. Uh, but, you know, the 12th man is a, is a different animal. Um, and it was, it was, I, I felt like the moment was set for us to do something great. Uh, but like I said once, and I said again, when you're playing a great team, minor, minute mistakes, you know, gets inflamed with, um, you know, they make you pay for it. Uh, Richard Sherman made me pay a couple senseless things that we wish as a team that we could have back. I'm not going to make it about myself. Uh, but uh, we learn from it, and, and we'll be back. And Cam Chancellor um, is uh, Howie Long, Hall of Famer, was here a couple days ago. He called him a card-carrying bad man. Would you say that that is the guy that 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 is going to be covering Gronk this week in the way that you you see the way the matchup might go down? I would hope so. I would hope so. I mean, that, that that's kind of like the heavyweight bout that everybody's expecting. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, with Gronkowski being such a uh, polarizing force out there, no matter where he is, mm -hmm. um, as well as, um, you know, Cam Chancellor. So that's going to be an interesting matchup. To yeah, see. there was Cam on Cam violence in that game. Yeah, it I was. Believe. It was. It was a couple of, of, of um, little jabs that I was seeing from different people. You know, it was like Wilson to Wilson touchdown mm -hmm. and Cam to Cam touchdowns. Yeah, too. Yeah. It was like, yeah, I saw it. Come on, come don't, don't do Yeah, we're that. showing the B-roll. I don't know why we're doing that to our guests. Like, let's act Jeez. like it didn't even happen. I don't even know why I brought it I up. Know. Well, you know what, Cam? Because it, obviously this might be an issue for the Patriots in this game in two days from now. Mm -hmm. Who do you think is going to win? I asked the Honestly and respectively, like, respectively, I could care less. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> That's, it's it's, it's kind of similar. I give you, like, who's going to win the best TV show award if, you know, you're not up for it? You know, it's, it's, it's not like best radio show or whatnot. You know, I, I, I respect the game enough, but if it's not the Carolina Panthers playing. Well, it's the Rich Eisen show is the best one. And of course. What do you think? I mean, you, 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 I mean no, no disrespect to Dan, but Dan thinks his show, his show is the best. Yeah, it just depends on what. Well, well done, Ken. Well done. Now, last year, well, when I chatted with you, or two years ago, I think I chatted with you the Super Bowl in New Orleans. Um, how, how are you a different person now than the last time I spoke to you, Cam? Oh, um, I say it's a, lot, a lot has changed, and, and I don't expect me to be the same person the next time I talk to you either. Uh, you know, life is, is, is so funny. It's, it's all about growth. You know, when a person says to me or say, or say you know, widely or just vaguely, Cam, or, or people's changing. You know, the thing that I get uh, uh, offended about is, you know, you're not changing. You know, that's why we have different seasons. That's why it's spring, fall, summer, you know, winter. You know, because things have to evolve. You know, you have to shed things that were good, and you have to also shed things that were bad. And uh, when you look back, and when I look back at that time, you know, whether I was a, 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 a not a good enough leader, 
I was not a great enough, you know, a passer. I didn't, I didn't show my emotions the right way. Now is, do I get it right now? Absolutely not. I'm, I'm not a perfect form of who I want to be, but I'm still striving to be that person. How did the accident change you? Well, I, and that's one of the, those things that, you know, it, it really hit me. You know, you, don't, you, you always have a point in times in your life where you can press a reset button and you just look back and you say, okay, let me, let me reevaluate some things in my life. Uh, that, 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 that moment came, you know, on time, you know, it wasn't like somebody tapped me on the shoulder and say, Hey, can't put your seatbelt on. You're about to get in an accident. You know, it was just one regular day headed into, uh, you know, watching film and it happened. And the thing that I probably would have re re regretted the most is I could not tell my mom that I love her. You know, I, 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 that's what you thought of. On this I, spot? I'm thinking about everything. I like I got to tell people goodbye. You know, it's not the, the, the thing about, you know, life and death or, you know, living and not living is, you know, appreciate it. You know, everybody has issues. Everybody wants to complain. But the truth of the matter is, you know, we still got that opportunity to breathe and, 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 and grow and change. And, 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 and that's the thing that was that I left away an accident like that when I'm looking at the truck. And it's like, wow. You know, um, my belief, my faith is, is, is stronger than ever. Uh, I appreciate people uh, more than ever. And, uh, you know, I'm just have been on this this vibe kick, you know, this energy. If you, you have p negative energy, stay away from me. I don't mm -hmm. need it. You know, I'm, I'm all about, you know, positivity. And, uh, you know, that 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 that's very contagious. Mm -hmm. So is, you know, negativity. Sure. You know, if you got a person that's saying, oh, man, you guys, yeah. Yeah, it was, it, was, it was built for you guys not to win or, or, you know, you're not supposed to do this. You're not supposed to do that. I try to remove myself from that situation as much as possible. So then let's be positive here, because also the last time I saw you in New Orleans, you also had a shoe. Yes, a sir. A new shoe with Under yes, Armour that you offered up to me and in which to run my 40. And but, did you get? Well, Dion told me not to run in high tops is what he told me not to do. <laughs> and I listened to Dion. That's what Dion did. Now, Marshall Falk is off the set right now, and he, what did he just mutter, Brockman? What did he just mutter? Didn't help. Didn't help. No, no, that's true. Marshall tells it like it is. So the naysayers like Marshall Falk, the negative energy stay that away. I'm feeling from people you like Marshall Falk, away. who's going to join us after <laughs> Seth Myers joins us. Come on, Rich. Come on. How will, so should I put on the Speedform Gemini running shoe to, to improve the form that that we're watching on television well, I'm right now. I'm seeing you celebrate, and you're not celebrating because something negative has happened. No, because I was less than six seconds. I ran out of my pocket square. That's how that's how hard I ran. So, how will the Speedform Gemini running shoe just? Can you pitch me on on your shoe? Well, I can tell you one thing, mm -hmm. and um, you know, with pitching you this shoe, it's very comfortable, and okay. uh, you know, I think that the, the the technology that Under Armour has put in this shoe mm -hmm. is something you know that 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 brings the runner comfort. Okay. You know, when you think about running shoes in this past you know, um, technology with shoes, you've been seeing very thin shoes, mm -hmm. but that's not good for your joints. It's not good for your bones for longevity. Okay. Uh, I think Under Armour did a great job with creating a shoe that's not only comfortable, but uh, works in the runner's favor. And, um, okay. you know, hopefully yes. you will see some um, major changes. Measured changes. Of tenths. Of seconds. Tenths of seconds. That is the positivity, Cam Newton, I am looking for. Yes, sir. Thank you for coming on. Thank you. We'll see you down the line. Yes, sir. That is Cam Newton, Under Armour's launching the new Speedform Gemini running shoes. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern. On Audience.